Hey, Charlie. Charlie. I, How you doing, good bud? to see you. Huh? I haven't seen you in so long, I know, man. I've been way too long. You know, I heard about the little girl. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, Mary, she's been amazing. She's beautiful. Yeah, I saw pictures. Wow. Crazy. She's actually getting baptized real soon. Is she? Really? Matter of fact, Are next Sunday. Taking her to the cathedral downtown. Oh yeah. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, guys. Baptism. How you doing? Baptism. Yeah. Congratulations on your newborn. Thank Are you a fellow Catholic, sir? Uh, no, sir. I am not. I heard that the church teaches that. Um, the Catholic Church says that babies who die before their baptism go to hell, and you you guys are always preaching how God is all merciful and how your religion is all merciful. Well, it's not their fault that they died, so why would they have to go to hell if they died before their baptism? Because it says that baptism is the only way possible. Like you have to be baptized to go to heaven. Now, sir, um, you obviously have your facts wrong, as the church is. The church does not even teach that uh, statement, and we actually support, like, for example, you know, the Indians in the Amazon or whatever, those people over there, all right, well, they they have no clue about who God is, so there's no way for them to be baptized, all right? Not necessarily seeing my daughter in particular, I mean, unfortunately, she hasn't been baptized yet, and, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, I'd love if you could come, and I'd love to change your mind about that. Maybe I'll have to we'll have to look into that. I guess the truth about the church is that <laughs> our job our, is to be missions of missionaries of God. We are to preach what is true, what is not true. We're to refute yeah. the uh, false teaching. But well, where saying. is your proof? Our proof is, is in, in the faith Bible. and in the Bible and in our well. tradition and in our teachings. Yes, the Catechism of the Catholic Church clearly states that God, who made all and who is all, has the power to take away. Any laws which he's created, he's bound by nothing. By no Not man, right. nothing. He is all. I might have to read this and see what it says. The church is all merciful, and God is all loving. And a child who dies before baptism just has not received the sanctifying graces or the actual graces which it takes for someone to enter the doorway of their Catholic faith. And all are welcome. That does make more sense. I'll have to read. Do you have the passage or anything? I do actually have the passage. Fact, wow. you know, I'd love to talk to you more about this. How do you see it? In fact, uh, the church has always felt the firm conviction that whoever suffer, suffers death for the sake of faith that has not been baptized will automatically be accepted into heaven as a martyr because they died knowing that Jesus Christ was there for them and that he would always watch them. But babies, they don't have the mind to think about it. Like I said, God is not bound to salvation to the sacrament of baptism. He himself is not bound by his sacraments. So God may take the life of an innocent born child into his heaven. In this case. Yes. Okay, I can't wait to go see your daughter's baptism. All be man. friends. Congratulations. All right. In yes. the kingdom and Thank love you. of God. Brothers and sisters. We are gathered here today to celebrate the sacrament of baptism. Parents, what do you ask of the Church of God? We ask for faith. What does faith offer you? It offers us eternal life. If then, you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. Receive the mark on your forehead, within your heart. Embrace the faith with its divine teachings. So, live that you will indeed be a temple of God. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, look with favor upon this, thy servant, thy handmaid, whom thou hast called to take his first steps in the faith. Take from him all blindness of heart, free him from the snares of Satan, which until now have held him open to him. Lord, the gate of mercy. Then, seasoned by the salt which is symbolic of thy wisdom, may he be relieved of corruptions, of devil desires, and finding pleasure in keeping of thy commandments. May he serve thee in thy church, and make progress from day to day in the way of perfection. The same Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive the salt, which is a symbol of wisdom. May it bring you God's favor for everlasting life. Amen. Peace be with you, and with thy spirit. I exercise you, unclean spirit, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You'll be answering in the name of a child. 
Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all of his works? I do. And all of his palms? I do renounce them. I anoint you with the oil of salvation. In Jesus Christ our Lord, so that you may have everlasting life. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered? I do believe. Do you believe also in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do believe. Do you wish to be baptized? Yes, I do. I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.